Hi friends, let's begin with genome. Genome means it is a complete set of genes in an organism. Genome includes both coding genes and non-coding genes and also organal DNA that is mitochondrial DNA and chloroplast DNA. All together forms the genome. All organisms, the genome is made up of DNA or genes are made up of DNA. There, the only exception is some viruses that is some RNA viruses where the genome is made up of RNA. Let's take our case. In our case, the genome means the complete nuclear genome plus the organal DNA. We have mitochondria, the mitochondrial genome together forms the genome. Then this genome is transcribed to form RNA. The transcriptome, the next term is transcriptome. Transcriptome means set of complete set of RNA transcribed from a genome. This DNA is transcribed to RNA and this transcriptome includes both coding RNA and non-coding RNA. Coding RNA means the mRNA that codes for protein whereas non-coding RNA is not translated to protein like functional RNAs like tRNA that is involved in translation, ribosomal RNA that is the major constituent of ribosome etc. The next term is proteome. Proteome means the complete set of proteins that is translated from a genome. Proteins are a diverse group of biomolecules. It includes enzymes, structural proteins like collagen, functional proteins, non-structural proteins, some are hormones, proteins are involved in defense as antibodies. So proteins have diverse functions and all these proteins that is present inside the cell or an organism forms the proteome. Now let's have a summary of these three. See as per the Human Genome Project we have approximately 20,000 genes and this is transcribed to form 100,000 transcripts or mRNA transcripts. This forms the transcriptome and that is translated to proteins. After post-translational modification there are diverse proteins with various functions that makes approximately 1 million proteins inside the cell or inside the system doing diverse functions forming the working force inside our body. Now a recent term is called as metabolome. Metabolome is a complete set of low molecular weight metabolites in a living system. Metabolism means the chemical reactions that is happening inside the system that includes anabolism and catabolism, synthetic reactions and degradation or breakdown reactions. All these chemical reactions produce different small molecules and that molecules forms the metabolome. It, it includes amino acids, sugars, lipids, nucleotides, etc. Let us see the website of human metabolome database for understanding this metabolome better. As per the database, it has nearly 220,000 metabolite entries that is present inside the system at different stages, maybe in a different developmental stage or a clinical condition. This metabolome is highly dynamic compared to genome, transcriptome or proteome. It can change with the developmental stage or clinical condition. So when we click this browse, there is a drop down menu, then uh, this is the second window and I have to check this toxin, so apply this filter, then we will be getting the result like this. The first four compounds are formic acid, phenol, sulphide, chromium, etc. Now we know that metabolome includes nucleotides, sugars, aldehydes, alcohols, every small molecules that is formed inside a cell at a particular time or at a particular developmental stage or a clinical condition. So you can see the location also uh, this formic acid present in blood, breast milk, cerebrospinal fluid etc. So we are using this data to make metabolic profile under certain clinical conditions or during different stages of development.
So in short, genome means is the DNA in majority of organisms whereas RNA in some viruses that includes all set of genes present in an organism. Whereas transcriptome is formed from genome by transcription that includes all RNA that is present in an organism. Whereas proteome is formed by the translation of transcriptome that includes all proteins, all different types of proteins that is present in an organism, whereas metabolome is the fourth recently named group which includes all small molecules that is present inside a cell or an organism. Hope you understand the difference between these four terms. Thank you so much for your support. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing this channel. Stay blessed. Thank you so much.